Hi everybody. Let me just show you a couple of examples of some form styles that we've had. Um, and the way I have it set up is uh, we can come in here and they're all set up with an alternate style. Um, you won't be able to tell who they are because they're all coming off of my site. But if I come in here and I choose page style, we've got all these different styles. And of course this one has no rules so they're going to do the assignment. Uh, I think this person here has the most rules that they've used. And this person has the least number. Let's kind of see what it looks like. Okay, they changed the color. I guess that explains why. Let's see the one with the most rules. Okay, it looks kind of basic. Quite a lot of rules for being fairly basic, but uh, let's just see what it looks like as we scroll down through. Everything's kind of lined up nice. I guess I would have liked to have seen like the comment area, you know, take up whatever available space there is. Let's see if they've made anything responsive. Well, I guess uh, I kind of moved that, so I should put that back to where it was. Now let's see if it's... Well, I guess somewhat responsive. So I'm not crazy about the button. So, but they did do a nice job of laying it out, so it all lines up well. Uh, and it looks, you know, it's, it's an okay site. So one of the things to keep in mind, by the way, is an okay site. You know, it's average, it's a C. Uh, but, I, you know, it's plain, it's basic. It, that's, that's good. So maybe okay, you know, C, C plus, B minus. Uh, but nice, not nicely done. All right, let's just actually go right from the first one all the way down through. All right, so here's your design. Ooh, that's better. I like that better than the OK one. This would be in a good range. Uh, again, I kind of like the. I think it would look better if the comments kind of stretched all the way across, but I like it. Uh, let's see. Changes up a bit. Not exactly bad. I not sure why they have that indented. I guess they didn't. They probably should have switched those to left aligned. Uh, and I'm guessing these folks may be using a media query or something. Okay. So that's good. Why is it not great? I guess I'm thinking it's not great because of the yellow. It's very bold. Not a hundred percent sure. I guess the yellow would have to depend upon what the rest of the site looks like. Okay. Another one, not bad. I guess they've already made it small, so it's not necessarily going to be responsive probably to that size. Okay, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Nice, I like it a little better. I'm guessing as you go to the active one, it changes the border, nice. Very subtle, maybe actually make that a little bit more, but uh, it's also good, it's okay. Okay, good. Not crazy about it. So I guess not crazy, did they do anything? Apparently they have 24 rules, but I don't know what they did. Um, the crazy about it is, you know, maybe this was their actual design, but it's highly unlikely that it was their design. Uh, and something's just broken and messed up. I mean, email is here, enter valid email address there. So, you know, I'm, you know, it's a D. You know, the rest of it doesn't look bad, but we've got some highlight, you know, we've just definitely have some issues here. Um, and this would be a usability issue, you know, so eh, that's not going to work. So that, that's, you know, probably a D range. This one here, I can't see what they've done. It looks exactly like my basic one. So even though they have 24 rules, I'm not sure what they're doing with them. Nice. I like it. A little bit of roundness to it. Not crazy, they don't line up nice and smooth. Same thing with, you know, the crookedness of, of the radio buttons. And the uh, crookedness of the check, crookedness of everything, I guess. I don't know what they've, I know what that is. 
what I have in the HTML is I have a legend. Okay? And what they didn't do is they didn't display none for the legend. Okay? Uh, and so it shows up at that little box, which kind of makes it look kind of messy. Now, what's kind of odd is they've centered all of these, but they didn't center the register button, and I think the register button would look better centered. These look good in the center, but they should be left aligned the same as these. You know, they, they got to line things up to make it a little bit smoother. So, but it's okay. You know, I think it's average. See, if they had fixed some of that stuff, I'd put them to the B, uh, possibly an A minus range if they smoothed it up. Interesting little blink there. A lot of rules. Hmm, looks okay. I think it's average. See. Oh, we already looked at this one. Color change. Okay, I like it. Some nice styles going on here. I find them interesting. Uh, I'm not going to like the crookedness here. Comments are centered. In fact, if you just do like a max width 100, the comments won't go any wider than this container element. So max width 100 is a great rule to remember. Oh, nicely styled with the legends and got a background, so some grass type of thing. Mm, didn't look like they did anything. Oh, that's one with zero rules, so they didn't do anything. Kind of nice little blocky. I'd probably like to see this come all the way across so they were the same. In fact, I might like to not see the you know, one solid color here, but not without the breaks. Uh, but looks like, actually, I think it looks good. Other than that, uh, things are lined up. Mm, get a little bit of a gap here, but but not bad at all. Okay, it has some issues. I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't, it doesn't seem to matter what size my screen is. It's got some issues, but it's okay. I think it's a decent C still. It could be made much better. As you can, you know, as we look at these, you can probably say, "Oh wow, if they just stretched that out a little bit more, they'd be great." Uh, didn't do anything, so they're going on the account of simplicity is best. But you don't get a very good grade for not doing anything. Yeah, kind of interesting. A uh, simplistic background, but it kind of blends nicely with everything else. I kind of like the way they've done it. I'd like to see these smoothed out. I'd like to see the comments go all the way across, and I'd like to see that disappear. Now, if you want to get to that perfect, you know, the A range, launch ready. Yeah, usability is just going to fail on that one. Those labels are too far away. Okay. I don't actually like the background. I actually like their style a little bit better. Um, I think the background doesn't match their style. Kind of funny they got this so large, but then they made the comment box so small. It's okay. Okay, it's decent. You know, it's decent grade to see. Uh, guessing this must be for some kind of uh, bed and breakfast or something like that. We get a bed and no breakfast, I guess. But it looks like you can stay there. Have that fixed background. Okay, I, you know the centering is fine until you get to here and here, and give me more space for comments. It looks like you don't really want a lot. And I don't know if max width 100 would be the greatest. You might have to do a combination of things: max width 100 for the comment box, but then add some padding to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, what I'm hoping for is that you just get a couple of ideas of like, oh, okay, of this is what I don't want to do. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't... I don't know. Uh, I guess the color theme doesn't work for me. I don't think it's bad, but it, it would probably depend upon what the rest of the site looks like to see if it matches the site identity. Oops, we'll skip that one. They didn't do anything. Another one, it's okay. They've done some things correct. You know, I like the larger button in a sense. I'd like to see a hover over it. Uh, they made it a little bit too small to fit, or they made their text too big.
too many paw prints. I think I'd probably do an RGBA background color for the form so they were lighter underneath the form so it was easier to see because we get a little bit hard to read in some places. Uh, give me, you know, give me more room. The blue is kind of funky because these labels here are all in blue, but there is no label for the mountain. Uh, and I may actually add one. I may do. I still probably have the legend text, but I'd probably add something so that blue would match. You know, with content before if there's no element place to put it. But it looks okay. I think it could look good with a couple minor modifications. Almost all of these can go from a C range to a B range without much trouble. Uh, okay, the blue and the white work for the background because it has a lot of blue and white in it. Uh, don't even notice this, but I have a little trouble reading these. I'd like to kind of see them pushed out a little bit, like some of the other ones did, but they've got things lined up nicely. I don't know what to do about the list, list box. Probably need to line it up more with everything else. And the comment box, of course, could go, you know, just give yourself more room. Let the person, you know, give me some comments. You might not even need the comments. You know, just have your feedback is important to us, and boom. I don't know. You know, your style, nothing's written in stone, so you got to kind of play around with it. Not bad. They did a couple of rules. They have a lot. It looks almost the same as the previous one, which is just kind of funny, 24 to 367. Okay, another one that's got some kind of issue going on, so they're just stuck in the D range. They've got the big orange button. Not necessarily a bad thing. We'd hope it would fit the scheme. And then we got a couple more to go. Okay, it's okay. All right. Another one, you know, if we hide the top part, it looks okay. It looks, uh, looks good. In fact, I think they, another, a lot of these seem to be just one step away um, from being in the B range. Okay. All right. Well, hope that gave you some inspiration. Uh, I might add a little bit more to this video from another class. We'll see. Uh, but good luck with the assignment. Just want to show you a couple more. Uh, this one uh, has that vivid background, but this is the opacity that I was talking about. Um, and I think if they would straighten these up, they'd really make this form look nice. So this one here looks it looks good. It's all squished over to the end, and you know, just give it a little margin auto, get that form in the center, and then you know it'll it'll be pretty decent. Here's an interesting one where they've got everything lined up pretty decently, and. Uh, what they've done on the bottom is they uh, kind of allowed everything to float next to each other. Uh, my guess is this is floated right. This must be floated left, which allows feedback to fit in the middle. Uh, but just something different. You know, it's nice to see people try things. And I wanted to show this one because it's fairly bold. Um, and what happened with it is, is they've set up their style sheet to only work on their site because they must have an image in the background uh, that's dark because all their text is white. So if your image in the background is dark, you should have your background color for that body tag dark also. So I want to point that one out as something to be careful of because we're going to look at your website or your style on a basic form. And as part of the learning process here, I want you to be able to have your style for a form that you didn't create. I kind of like this style um, I like the little dots in the background, I guess, but a couple things that need to be worked on is, well, there's not enough room for a last name, and, um, well, you know, frankly, you know, center it. You know, maybe not have the white so big, and I don't know. So, a little bit more work, and it pops it up definitely into the B range, possibly an A range, if they get everything fixed. Now, this one's got a very bold graphic, uh, and it probably needs to be toned down a little bit. I'm not 100% sure if this was their design to go all the way across like that. Uh, it's different. I think it would could work. I'm not necessarily against it, but definitely some kind of opacity background uh, to make that a little bit easier to read and tone down that background image. Though the food part, you know, you want to keep that probably sharp and crisp. 